Den dramatiske klippekyst er ikke lige det sted, man forestiller sig egnet til et teater. Men ikke desto mindre er det lige netop sådan et sted, Minak Theater er. Until the 1920s, this was just a piece of cliff. And the lady, Rowena Cade, who built it, moved here in the 20s, built a house, and was got involved in local theatre. And they decided to open air performances. Did an open air Shakespeare in a wood, the um, Midsummer Night's Dream. Decided to do The Tempest. And they thought, well, we'll do it on the cliff. Originally in her garden, but this was her cliff garden. And they thought, well, this would be much more suitable. So with her gardener, in 1932, they built a stage. And that was how it started. And then 40 years of her life, she kept adding bits and adding more bits. It's a working theatre that's funded and supported by the tourists who just come and look at the place to enjoy it and to learn the story of how it came, came to be there and to see it on a stunning day like this. Every time I walk over the top of the theatre, I've been doing that for 25 years, more than that, when I was a student, and it still has the same effect. It's still different every day. In the winter, it's amazing with the storms coming in and the seas crashing over the top, and it never fails. I mean, I actually love to stand at the top and see people seeing it for the first time and just it takes the breath away, you know, and that's what this place can do. Jeg bliver simpelthen så imponeret hver gang jeg besøger et sted, hvor det hele det startede med det mange måske synes ville være en banal idé, men som så alligevel vokser til noget stort og noget mange kan blive imponeret af. For det her sted, det er virkelig et sted man bliver imponeret af. Det er et smukt teater, hvor kreativiteten det får lov til at blomstre, og så ligger det jo simpelthen gude smukt. Og så er det så tæt på naturen, at uanset hvilken dag du kommer her, ja, så vil det være en ny og anderledes oplevelse, for det er simpelthen vejret, der bestemmer, hvordan det her sted det ser ud. Lige præcis i dag er jeg heldig at komme her, hvor solen skinner, og der er kun lige en frisk lun brise. Men der er helt sikkert også dage her, hvor vinden den virkelig banker igennem, og vandet det står op ad klipperne. Og det kunne jeg faktisk også godt tænke mig at opleve. Mens jeg er her øves der til næste forestilling, skuespillerne er helt uberørte af turisternes tilstedeværelse. This is a London company, the Questers Theatre. They're one of the biggest amateur theatre companies in, the, in Europe, actually. Um, and we are mostly an amateur theatre space, because that was what Rowena built it for local actors, amateur theatre, and we've maintained that. So unlike big West End theatres, all professional productions, we do have a few professional productions, but we're mostly amateur. This is She Stoops to Conquer. Um, it's a Oliver Goldsmith comedy, very period, big costumes, big wigs, and a lot of fun and very fast and lively and should suit ideal here. They're just rehearsing now, just just getting used to the stage, really. It's a very different stage to work on. So they've played in their own theatre, had a roof for one thing, uh, in London, and it's uh, this stage is an oddly shaped. It was never built properly as a theatre. It was built just with the space she had. And so uh, they have to get used to it. They have to get used to throwing their heads up, their voices up, because it's very steep. So there's lots of techniques that they're getting used to today, uh, ready to open tomorrow. Minak Theatre is på alle måder fascinerende. Men hvad imponerer Phil, der går her hver eneste dag? The most amazing thing, I guess, the location is stunning, and the story behind it is amazing. There's a combination of things. There's no one thing. I mean, when you're sat here at night with 700 people on the side of a cliff, miles from anywhere, the moon is casting and the stars are up. There's nothing quite like experiencing a piece of theatre like that. And so it's, there's an overall experience which is quite extraordinary. Mm.